Okay, you got your lavalier microphones. Now what? You're gonna need a transmitter and a receiver. This is your transmitter. <clears throat> this is your receiver. Let's cut that off so we can show you. Okay? This is your transmitter, this is your receiver. Basically what you do is you take your microphones, okay? and you plug this into your transmitter. You're gonna line it up, and you're gonna see that there's a little slit right there, and that slit's gonna go right where you see that opening there's a slit at the top. You line that up, you put it in, it should do a little snap. And when you take it out, make sure you press this button right here, you don't yank on it, you don't want it to, to uh, damage. Press that button and it'll come right out. Cool, transmitter. So you got the first thing is you plug those mics into there. Next thing you want to do is you want to turn this on. Top of that button, top, there's a little thing you slide over and it's on. Okay? You're going to open that up. And you're going to see a letter and a number. It says A1. So you're going to keep that in mind, A1. Now, you go over here to your receiver. This is what's receiving the signal from your transmitter. You're going to turn that on. And thankfully, everything's already synced up. It says A1 on there. So we're all synced. So we got A1 on here, A1 on here. We're synced. Now, this has A through Y channels. This is a Shure uh, transmitter and receiver. This costs about $300. Uh, these mics are made to work with shore transmitter and receivers. However, you can use them for other systems. You just have to make sure that those systems either A has a TA4F connector, and that's what this is, that's the four prong, or that you have a uh, converter, which is a cord that's gonna take, you're gonna plug your TA4F uh, into a cord, and on the other end, it'll be whatever the connector is for that system. I'll do another video to show you how that works. So, for now, let's just say you have your Shure transmitter receiver mic pack, okay? So, again, you wanna make sure the numbers that are inside of here, on this little screen, the number and the letter is gonna match up with the number and the letter on here. When nine times out of 10, when you buy your system, it's already gonna be synced up to the right number and letter, okay? A1 is probably gonna already be on A1. Now, refer to your manual with your transmitter and your receiver to show you how to choose different channels, why you would choose different channels, um, and things of that nature. I won't get into that right here, all right? So, let's say it's all synced up. Now what? Everything's synced up. Now, you need to connect your transmitter to a uh, sound source output. So, basically a speaker or a soundboard or something like that. Now, if you notice on the back of here, we have two different options for that. We have an XLR cord and we have a quarter inch cord. So, you would take, this is your XLR cable. You would take that cable, line it up, and plug it in your hair snap. And now it's in. Then you would take your other end, and this is the end that's gonna go into either a speaker, a soundboard, or an outsource for sound, okay? That's one way to do it. The other way is through a quarter inch cable, which looks like this. It looks like an extra large uh, headphone cable, okay? You're gonna take that and do the same thing and put it in there like so and then you have sound make sense easy got it now just for the sake of you being able to hear what's going on and see what I'm talking about I have a speaker that I've connected up to my transmitter through those cords so these are on so once I have this connected Make sure this is at A1. One. 
A1. Perfect. Now I want to make sure that this, see this is on A8. So that's not going to work. So now I got to go back to 1. So I'm going to go to this channel button and press it until I get up down to A1. And as you can see, you can hear me on here. Oh, these mics are too close. So now we're hot. We're live. So that sound you hear is coming from, from, from that. that. Okay? Because I just connected my mics, my transmitter. Transmitter is right here, the mic pack receiver. And now I'm live. Oh. Got it? So, there's a special cord. I don't know why I'm talking to this mic, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn this off. So again, we went through a uh, quarter inch cable to get to this. Now, there's a special cable out there that you can get from Guitar Center or anything like that that can connect to a regular headphone jack cable, which is what I put in here. So we're gonna turn this off for a second. And if you see back there, that just has a regular headphone jack in for this speaker. So what I did, is there's a cable you can get from Guitar Center that has a quarter inch side into, I think it's called an eighth of an inch uh, cord. And this cord is definitely will come in handy. All right, that way you can plug your mics into a regular home speaker system or any trans, you know, uh, portable speaker. And it's just, it's just a handy thing to have. And that's just, like I said, it's a quarter inch going into a regular, I think it's an eighth of an inch uh, headphone jack cable for you to put it in there. Cool, so that's what you need for your mics. Um, if you have any questions, of course, let me know. I hope that was simple and I hope you, you understood all of it. And have fun with your mics and feel free to email me or send me messages on here if you have any questions. Okay, hold on. Don't go rushing off to get your transmitter and receiver quite yet because you might find that if you go into a store and say transmitter and receiver, they're not going to necessarily readily know what you're talking about. So, basically, what we're calling a transmitter and receiver is going to be, it's, it's a lavalier mic pack system. So, basically, the transmitter and receiver is going to come with the microphone, the lavalier microphone, and this is what it looks like, okay? And this is for speaking, again, this is for speaking. So, when you go to Guitar Center, Sam Ash, or you look up online, put in lavalier or ask for, you need a lavalier microphone system, and this is what they're going to find for you, and tell them, again, you need short. If not sure, then you're going to have to get the, the uh, converter, okay? So you're looking for a lavalier mic system. And it's going to come with the lavalier microphone, and it's going to come with a transmitter and receiver. Got it? Forgot to tell you that. Ask for a lavalier micing system. Sure.